60 days in God's time, uh, the hidden timeline, the framed in God's Bible of the thousand year long days. Could Christ have come years ago? Well, the early church fathers didn't believe he could. So what about the resurrection day after 6,000 years? Well, John 11 and one. Now a certain man was sick, his name's Lazarus. He gets sick. John 11 and six, why didn't Jesus hurry up to his aid? Because it was for the glory of God that he died, why? So John 11 and six, and when he heard therefore that he was sick, he abode two days, day one, day two, in the same place where he was, speaking of Christ. Why didn't he hurry back? John eleven seventeen. Then when Jesus came, he found out he had been in the grave four days already. You know what happens on the seventh day hidden in the scriptures? And when he had thus spoken with a loud voice, he says, Lazarus, come forth, the resurrection. I'll close with this. In Exodus chapter 16, verse 30, it just clearly states, so the people rested on the seventh day. That's God's promise according to his time frame. If you'll stay with me for these lessons, we will begin to put things together to where you realize either I have found a tremendous amount of coincidence or we are learning the original understanding of how God wanted his people to recognize his, his time. The last verse I want to give you of these two, it's in the last closing of the 66 books. My time's up. Revelations 20. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. That's what we're waiting on, the last trumpet. On such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him one day, a thousand years. And then when that seventh day is over, when that thousand years are expired, Satan once again is going to be loosed out of his prison. We are teaching some things that there's no way to put them packaged in a 20 minute situation. If you stay with us on our YouTube channel, we've been doing this for many, many years, and we are just now beginning to try to put out to you what little that has built our strong faith throughout these years and thousands of others. It has been a privilege for you to allow us to come into your home. We represent teachers of the Lord Jesus Christ teaching. We are part of the huge body of Christ worldwide, and we are people that teach the born-again experience, the repentance, water baptism, infilling of His Spirit, and living a godly life in abundance. And that's what we want for you. I'm Pastor Michael Joe Kearse in a suburb of Houston, Texas, and we will see you for lesson number nine.